Some people have asked me why there is a mirror on the compass. Some compasses have a bunch of features, like this little hanging arrow in here, and this little screwdriver, and a mirror. And I'm going to address the mirror today, but stick around for other videos to address some of the other features. Now this mirror, people ask me why we have it. Now, it's not to just, you know, check yourself out and, you know, get your, remove your eyelash, although that does really come into play. Very helpful, you can use it for signaling and all of that. However, the intended use for this mirror is a little different. So this is a pretty standard base plate mirrored compass. This is a Woodsman, I will link to it. And now if I want to go in that direction over here, there is a pine tree right there that I'm going to navigate towards. So to do that, I'm going to point this direction of travel arrow, you know, this little etched line right at that tree. And I'm going to spin this base plate so that red Fred is in the shed. Okay, that's the saying. So the red arrow is in this other red arrow and it looks kind of like a shed. Now, I realize you're at an angle, so it is in the middle there. You have to trust me on that. So now that we have this compass bearing, we need to line it up and follow it to that tree. Now you would do this if you were going a long distance. Let's say you wanted to go to a tree that was across the little draw or on a different ridge. And so once you get down, you're not going to be able to see the tree very well. You still want to navigate there. So I have my tree sighted in. Now, here's how you normally do it. You normally spin the base plate until your red arrows are lined up like so. And then you kind of hold this away from your chest a little bit. You are aware of metals on you and you sight up and you extend the line from that base plate, that direction of travel arrow, in a straight line all the way out to that tree. Perfect. But what if it's a longer distance? What if you're really trying to thread the needle on something, you wanna get perfectly accurate? This is gonna make it a little easier with this mirror. So what you're gonna do is you're going to fold this thing to about a 45 degree angle. It can be a little different, roughly there. And now you can't look from the top anymore. So what we're gonna do is look from the side and you can see in there, see how those arrows, red arrows get lined up. So you can see that those are lined up and you can see there's this little sight up here. And you can see it's just to the right of that tree. Okay, there we go, arrows lined up, steady. Yeah, so I'm, I'm somewhere in there. I'm kind of moving the camera a little bit. So either way, I'm getting really close. But what you can see there is that I lined it up with the base plate fully open. But when I sight in with a mirror, it's actually facing off to the left a little bit. Now, in this little distance, that's nothing. Who cares? It's not going to affect it. But if I'm traveling a long distance, the accuracy of having this mirror is actually really helpful. So that's something to consider especially if you are going to be heading a long ways when you are navigating. So again, I'll link to this and I hope this helps. Now, if you're interested in building your skills and abilities and your confidence outdoors, then feel free to like this video and subscribe to the channel. I do a bunch of sailing, rappelling, orienteering videos and my schedule has been a little wonky recently but uh, I'm getting back into it now that the, the cabin build is just about wrapped up. So uh, thank you, and we'll see you on the next one. There's always an adventure in your reach. Help make it happen by watching one of these videos next.